agree or what? What's the deal with airline food? Why does it taste so good? Uh, no, that's not the joke. Oh. It's 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 so plain. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not the, the, I don't think he never, he never <laughs> actually said the joke, so it's not. All right. So who's he? Yeah. Fucking what's his face? Carrot top. Comedian. Ah uh, yes, <laughs> I I love fucking what's his face. <laughs> We'll brag Shut about up. it. Get out of here. Um, so okay. are, can we so, get a recap? Um, yeah, we'll hit it. Do it we'll... Uh, we interviewed a bunch of people. My wife who's named Ian, and now there's an owl bear. My wife who's named Owl Bear. No, that, that's she... literally it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. There, 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 there's not really much else to add. You're right about that. Are we? Um, we had orientation off screen. Wait, yeah. yeah, so you guys didn't want to do the orientation. That's fair. Mm -hmm. I understand. You hate the characters I design. You don't like them. Mm -hmm. Understandable. I was just, I, I, I just, I just spent three straight hours of role playing. Mm -hmm. I needed to, yeah, I needed yeah. to skip nah, over a little sense. bit. Uh, and I've got my doc full of who's being hired for what. I've also got chefs.txt. What is this for? Oh, it's, it's what they cook. Okay. We're good. I like What's how up? you have a .txt for what they cooked, despite the fact that you had to ask me what they cooked immediately well, no, after have, telling I us have, what they cooked. I have the txt because I wanted. To, I didn't want to, have to ask you again. So um, I wrote it down. All right. Can you unpause the game so I can run around the map? Oh sure, I could do that. But have you earned it? Come here, BB. I taught BB one trick. Yes. We got to. Uh, we got to plan a, a, a rager for a grand opening. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm considering today. So this is drugs. Today is the tenth day of the week. So the, ne the new week begins. No matter tomorrow. what drugs. The new week begins tomorrow. We need to talk. When's with the, the weekend? Uh, there is a weekend. Uh huh. It's actually two weekends. Oh. Well, so there's like a weekend and a week middle. Well, I mean, it depends on what you consider the end or of the beginning. Or two yeah. week middles. Well, what's what are the names of the days of the week, or all? <laughs> okay, so you first you've got Furtis. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I gotta. Okay. How do you F -I -R -D -A -S. spell that? F I R D A S. Let me write this down too. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. No, I, I, I got names. I got names. Hold on. Dude, no oh, well, in exactly 20 minutes. Hey, Will, what are the names of the days of the week? I'm writing it down. Untitled document names of the week. Guys, uh, new days new calendar just dropped. So. <laughs> okay, so week is 10 days. Okay, day one. Is Firdas, F I R F I R D A S. Okay, day two is Dudas, D U D A S. Day three is Tridus. Oh okay. my God! Okay. He really he really hit nuts with the Latin, huh? Oh, day four is Quattro. Four F O R R. <laughs> okay, day five is Via. That's V I E E H apostrophe. Oh, it autographed it to view. V I E E H apostrophe space. And that's it. Hey, that's the end of the word. Are writing this down? Because I am not writing <laughs> yeah, it down. Will's I'm writing it down. Will's writing it down. Uh, day, uh, what's it called? Day number six is Sextus. Oh, S E X D, -D A S. Mm -hmm. Wait, Sextus? D A S, yeah. They're all D A S. Sextus. Okay. I thought you said Sextus, and I'm like, you mean like the no. emperor? No. <laughs> okay. Day seven is Sunday. Okay. And on the seventh day, he rested. Day eight Man, is Man, what a day. fucking Jesus fanboy. <laughs> no, this, day, day eight is Moon Day. Moon Day? Mm-hmm. Sunday, Moon Day. Starry. And day. day nine is Rock. Okay. Is it spelled and... interestingly or is it just Rock? Well, it's really interesting, but I won't tell you how. Okay, what? I'm gonna yeah. say R O C H H apostrophe Q E R T. No, it's just R O Q. Yeah, Rock. there it is. And day ten is last day. Last day, guys. Last day. But, so today is last day. Okay, wait, can we can we change Sunday and Monday to Sundas and Moondas? <laughs> no, it's Sunday and Moon Day, not Monday. Because <laughs> it's the sun and the moon. Yeah, but why can't we make it? like consistent with like the naming convention 
No, it's Sunday, Moon Day, Rock, Last Day. Are you? Why are you like being mean about the? But like, then why were the here? first ones? First, like Ferdos, Dudos, Tridos. Because it, because it, because it's a united world calendar, and the, the days were named by different by different groups. They're oh named from gosh. different gods. Last day, okay. Um, and when's the weekend? The two weekends. So the two weekends are uh, Rock and Last Day are a weekend, and Four and Vie are a weekend. And for that exact reason, I'm renaming Sunday and Monday to Sundas and Mundas. Wow. The patriarchy is really falling And down. I'm renaming last day to lasty. How do you spell that? L-A-S-T-I-I-I-E. T-I-I-I-E? Yeah. There we go. Those are, those are the 10 days. Now the year is divided into months, of course. And each month is two 10 days. Okay. Okay. Write this one down for each month is two ten days. Which hmm. is a week. Okay? Yeah, I've written that. Now down. you might be asking me how many months are there? If the if the months are only twenty days each, how many are there? Okay? Mm -hmm. There yes. are fifty. Come on. He's really doing it to us. They don't have names. What? How, they why do they names. exist then? Because they used to organize them. So you say you say it's it's Sundas on the second ten day of the twelfth month. So you just number the months. So it's just it's just yeah, they're just called the twelve yeah. months. Well they're not twelve, there's fifty of them. Oh, yeah. Uh let's make it twenty five, that makes more sense. Of course. Yeah, of course. You know what? No. They're twenty eight. And I'm happy with that. You know what? I'm happy with that. Okay, you guys happy with that calendar? So I'm gonna sum it up for you. So a week is 10 days. It's also known as a 10 day. Mm -hmm. It goes Firdus, Dudus, Tridus, Four, Vie, Sextus, Sundus, Mundus, Rock, and Lusty. Four and Vie are the first weekend. Rock and Lusty are the second weekend. I tried to doing the clicking thing. I'm stopping now. Uh, each month is two 10 days, and there are 28 months in a year. Damn, okay. Now for the seasons. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. We're going to learn about these seasons another time. That was your fun fact. All right, uh, so how do you want to get this whole... So are we open today, or what's up? Nah, we today open was your, Today was your training day. So you guys did the training this morning. Everyone's gone home, and they know they're starting tomorrow. I don't have a like a husbando yet in this universe, do I? That's... I mean, I'm sure we could probably find the vampire. But he doesn't want to. He probably like will get hired by like the rival company, you know? And then it'll I mean, be I don't know awkward. If his food was that good. You don't think his food was that good? I thought it was like pretty godlike. Anyway, um, we should probably try to advertise our grand opening. Mm hmm. Okay, how are you gonna go about that? Let's make some posters. You know, I really sincerely feel as though BB might be bad for business in this uh, particular moment. Why? Okay, what about, okay, how can I help? How can we make BB like a fun mascot for the Howling Owl? I think perhaps, mm -hmm. instead, we just don't. But like, why? Like, BB is incredible. Because... She's big and scary and can kill people. She's like our oh. yeah. So it's but like a bodyguard. It's, it's for the theme of the, the howling the, owl. The it's an owl there, cat. Exactly. Like we could like put him in like some sort of makeshift costume, like made out of blankets, and make him look adorable. Make her look adorable. Sorry, sorry. Make her look adorable. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, BB, oh and I pet her. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, like, it's, like, BB is so said, cute. Oh BB is so cute. Like, why would you want to get rid of BB? She's literally a monstrous, murderous wild animal. Yeah, but look how cute she is. Sean's got a point. Look how cute she is. She's so adorable. That's For what now. you say until she starts here. ripping the faces off of townspeople. She's not going to. She's very well trained. 
Is she who's trained or something? I, I gave her one instruction so far, and by how easy she picked that up, I could gleam that she's pretty good. She's pretty good. BB, come here. My face is firmly planted in my palm. <laughs> BB, come here. I can't move BB around. Oh, that's true, you can't. I got you. See? B very well trained. He says as she tramples over our extremely expensive trees. She did trample over extremely expensive trees. Luckily, though, she didn't break any yet. You just chill out, okay? What is this BB hate? Why is there so much BB hate right now? What do you have against, like, good business practices? Do you want- we could just- okay, do you want to keep BB out of sight for, like, the first day? Like, the first week at least. Okay, I'll set up, like, the back storage as, like, a little place for BB. Hey, you know where she might find a, a great home? In the fucking dungeon. What is wrong with you? This is my blood sister. You're really gonna- I'm, I'm really enjoying this conversation. You're this gonna, thing. like, do that to my blood sister? Literally a wild animal. Literally my blood sister. Don't call her an animal. <sighs> Come on, BB. I bring BB to the back storage area and sort of, like, make, like, a nice little nest for her. How are we gonna make the nest? I'm gonna grab some blankets and some like hay that we have in the storage for some reason. I don't know, I guess this must have been a barn or something last time. And so like- You see hay. hay. When we're inside like the place, you'll see hay. We're not inside the tavern right now, we're just in the middle. Okay, thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you. Uh, Where's this hay that you're talking about? Oh my God. Um, it's in this, it's in this one over here. There's some hay in this back building over here. Is there? Yeah, trust me. And you've seen this before? This I don't- is... I don't see hay here. There's some hay here, trust me, go back. I have to keep it 100 with you. Alright, I'm just gonna make it out of blankets then. Put me back on top. Blankets are actually really bad to use as insulation for animals outdoors. This is a nice big room. We're gonna make- it, BB's not gonna feel Is B How does BB feel about being in the dungeon? She literally can't even get down here, the hall is too thin. Alright. He's got a good point. Bring me back up. Wait, 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 you were advocating for her to go into the dungeon. Yeah, well, then I remembered that it's only 5x5 five five halls because you forgot how to scale maps. <laughs> no, I think I forgot how to scale maps. The halls are thin. All right. Those halls are clearly divided into four tiles. Oh, well. And they should be 10x10. 10 10. I can't just mm, drag... I can't just drag myself, like, around. I have to, like, go all the way around. Come on, BB, follow me. Let me see if I can actually let you control her slightly. Come on, BB, follow no. me. No. No, that's too much effort. Okay, down here... Uh, right next to this tree, I wanna- I'll use some blankets to make a little nest for BB. You shouldn't use blankets. So what should I use? Nothing. She's literally a wild animal meant to be outside in the cold. <laughs> I'm gonna go get BB some food. I what think a... wild animals tend to make their own nests, Sean. Alright, BB. But, but after having been led to this location, she seems rather content and lies down for a nap. Alright. What do BBs eat? She's literally an apex fucking predator. I think she's fine. <laughs> I want to get us to eat. Um, I'm gonna go. Um, can I go to the orc store and get her some beef? No, don't. Oh my god. What? You want her to be vegetarian? <laughs> Sean is asking an important question here. Well, what do you answer? I don't think you should go around town fucking buying mass quantities of meat, indicating that we might have a giant, large animal that we're feeding. Oh, I was. Uh, I think the ball might be a bit like. People know I have down this. On that one. You guys did bring a bunch of people over, and not tell any of them it was a secret. Oh yeah, God fucking I also, damn it, man. I also like paraded BB around town when I got the barrels in the morning. Fuck. I, like, why? Why are you so upset? Like, it's so cool. Oh, I wonder which tavern we should go to. The one we've been going to forever, or the one where they keep a fucking owl bear <laughs> outside. <laughs> Well, big BB, I'll teach BB how to juggle. Oh, and yeah, and how do you plan to do that? I'm okay, a very Sean, good I need you to understand. Wrong. I just want, I just want to make it clear mm -hmm. that Will isn't fucking around. Um, it, the BB is literally this world's version of a T-Rex. It's so cool. 
<laughs> okay, we yes, have... cool. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking in game at all here. Mm -hmm. But it is scary. Yeah, but he's, but this big apex predator is listening to me and doing what Val, I ask it Val, to. Val, you and I aren't normal people, okay? <laughs> That thing could sneeze and kill the average townsperson. Hmm. What if I got him a disguise? What if I, like, hide how much of an owl he is and make him more of a cat bear, you know? Get him some cat ears? I think ears? that's worse. Do you think cat bear- you think cat bears are, like, more apex than owl bears? That's my guess. Have you ever seen a cat bear before? Have you ever seen a cat bear before? I've seen a cat owl bear. Hmm. Choices. All right. Well, I just wanted to get BB a snack. So, like, I want to like get in her good graces more and more. You know, so like she'll listen to me more. I'm very good with animals. Like, I'm really good with animals. Don't say it like that. <laughs> and I think that I'm gonna go get her something to eat. So when she wakes up, she'll be nice. Oh my god, if you start feeding it, it's never gonna leave. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. God, I would like to go get some meat. Okay. Okay, BB, stay. BB, go All have right. a nice nap. Alright, I'm gonna go can, get the bee. Can, can you just please just use BB as the mascot? See, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not insane, right? <laughs> I've been listening to the entire conversation. <laughs> like, I'm also, not insane. You sound like you want to fuck the cat, the, the owl bear. I don't. I just want BB is my blood you sister. Schlip, Schlip, just imagine this. You're like thinking of going to a tavern, you show up, and its mascot is an ancient red dragon. It's yeah, like, it, that's like the thing that's defending the tavern. That's sick. Yeah, it's so What if it so just cool. decides it's hungry? You know what's fucking delicious to ancient red dragons? Fucking turtles? <laughs> but it's like listening to us, and I can train BB more and more every day. You ever seen, you ever seen, like, a group of, like, little baby adventurers go and try to fight an owlbear? It doesn't fucking end well. We're not babies. We're not babies, yeah. Everyone else in this town is like literal fetuses compared to us. We can protect them. We'll be liable for BB. I'll be liable for BB. If we have to protect them from the animal that we have. No, she's not, not going to go... come to our tavern. She's not going to go on a rampage. What are you not understanding? How do you know? I'm very good with animals. Oh, God, sorry. I dropped that. Um, Arel, I can I get beef? Like can I get like a nice prime beef? Wait, what? did you guys see the roll? No, no I just heard it. Yeah. We hear it and we see that like you privately rolled dice. Huh. Uh, it just says private DM roll. Mm -hmm. Are you rolling like, to how do you, the how rampage? How do you do that? Like when you're the... Oh, oh it just, I see it. Option. Public roll, private DM roll, blind GM roll, self roll. Wait. Do that self roll. What happens when you do that? Oh. Okay, then um, can I buy? Can I? Hello, knock knock. Yo, where are you knocking? I'm knocking at the food place. Ah, yes, okay. Hello. Uh, so you, you you open the door. You, you knock a little bit, and you notice the door is open, so you open it. Uh, and inside, since it's probably about midday at this point, and I probably mean it is, uh, you see the the tall orc and the small halfling, the two women who run this this establishment. They're hey. walking around in stock and shelves, making sure everything is as it should be. Hey guys. Uh, the orcs are acknowledged. She goes, mm. and the small halfling turns to you and waves. I'm looking to buy like a nice cut of beef. Would you? The halfling walks up to you. Okay. What kind of cut do you want? Hmm. What what do you, what does the uh, chopper recommend? Pardon? What is the? <laughs> what do you recommend? What's a chopper? Uh, someone who chops up things with like a knife. Like a butcher? Yeah, sorry, I <laughs> couldn't think of the word. Okay, well it depends. What are, you, what are you looking for? What kind of meat do you like? Um, I'm looking like, imagine I was like a giant grizzly bear, okay? Having a bit of a hard time on account of the fact that you're not a giant grizzly bear. But I'm pretty big, right? 
I mean... Uh, yeah. Go on with the example. Huh? So, like, I'm, like, this wild animal. Uh, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything in days. Oh my god, what's that smell? And that smell of that beef, or whatever that meat is, is what I'd like to order. So you want, like, a dead, recently decaying cow corpse? Doesn't have to be recently decaying. How much meat do you want? Uh, what do you recommend? I'm very hungry. Well, look, can you just come back when you know what you want? I don't really have time to What are the here. sizes? What are the sizes? What are the sizes? What are the sizes? I would like one cut. <laughs> one cut? <laughs> one cut of what? <laughs> venison. Do you have venison? That's not even beef. <laughs> thought you wanted a beef. Is this, is this a joke? <laughs> no, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Please. I'm hungry? I thought you were a vow. Oh my god. Okay, I'll try to do it one more time very slowly, okay? Okay, so what kind of- how do you want me to get venison out of beef? I don't understand. Uh, give me like a nice cut of beef. Okay, which cut do you want? <laughs> what do you have? We have every single cut of beef you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. Which one? <laughs> the one I pointed to. You pointed at the wall, sir. I'm really gonna. Oh my god. <laughs> there's no, there's no like picture of a beef cut. I don't. Can I get some names? Can you name some of the beefs you have? Some of the beefs we have. Well, there's Dorothy. We we cut we cut her. Up no. Her what what part, do you? What part of the animal? What part? What part of the animal do you want, Val? <laughs> The thigh. The, you want the you thigh? Want the thigh. <laughs> what? You want a shank? <laughs> Give me the ribs. I thought you wanted the thigh. <laughs> <You> wanted the <laughs> Give me the. Give me the shank. I want the shank. Okay, one shank. Mhm. Mm okay. <laughs> Let me come back and get that for you. You three can uh, just hang around here for a minute. Oh my... back. Chopping Val, back. you're stupid, and I hate you. <laughs> Oh I'm having a great God. time. I'm just eating chips and just, you know, See, watching. it's funny because Sean's never eaten <laughs> in his life. <laughs> so that's why he doesn't know cuts of beef. Is this something so, everyone knows? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh so, my um, God. <laughs> she, she comes back after a few minutes. Here's some rough chopping in the back and some, some small halfling grunts. And she comes back carrying what well, looks to be around 20 pounds of, of, uh, of beef. And she sort of like pops it down on the table and she goes, okay, here's your shank. Thank you. Does that look good to you or? Um, does, uh, I pick it up, I, I, is it, does it feel heavy? It feels like it weighs, hold on, let me roll for this. <laughs> around 20 pounds. <laughs> is that good for like a shank? I'm gonna so go ahead and tell you that your character probably wouldn't know that. I don't know <laughs> that. So I look to my friends. Does this look good? Does either one of you have history? In what context? Does this look like enough? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Think about how big. Think about how big you are. I'm pretty big. And then think about how much you eat. Yeah, I could and eat this. And, and then, then think like about and then think about how of that. big your fucking thing is. And therefore, think well, how much well, it will The problem comes at step four there. <laughs> think about how big the thing is. I don't... Sean, I correct me if I'm wrong here. Are you capable of visualizing what 20 pounds of meat looks like? No. Yeah, he wouldn't be. Wouldn't he? <laughs> uh, I ask her how much it is. Well, uh... I don't know. Are you using this for business? Or do you want it, like, cut up fine and cooked here? What do you... Uh, no, he wants it raw. I want it raw. Okay, well, it'll probably be a few silver pieces. Okay. Well, what is a few? I'm trying to make a deal here. How many is a few? <laughs> mm -hmm. let, me, let, me get the, let me get the scale here. Hold on. Okay. Pulls out a scale, turns towards her, plops the meat down on it, thinks. Yeah, that'll be three silver. All right, I hand her the three silver. Okay, then. Enjoy your beef shank. Thank you. And, uh... Yeah? Please, uh, try to learn some names of cuts for next time you come in here. 
Okay. I mean, I, I appreciate that that you're enjoying yourself, but you know, what, you know, what you, you should do. Here. You should, you know, just draw up a really rough sketch of a cow. Oh my god, yeah. And then and I'll then, just point to what part then, of the cow I want. Then, <laughs> like a really shit sketch, and then you'll get the general gist of what he, she's talking about. Well, I'll just come back with a drawing of the part of the cow I want every time now. Or that. That works too. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Thank you so much. I'll go outside to the tavern. Oh, fuck. I forgot my, my cow drawing at home. Like, now I gotta go back. I, I, go like how my... he, I like how he decided he wanted beef. Then upon <laughs> wondering what cut of beef he wanted, he immediately decided he wanted deer instead. Because <laughs> I was trying to remember, like, what would something like that eat? And I'm like, oh, venison's pretty good. <laughs> Are we going? Can we go back to the tavern? I got things to do. Uh, <laughs> what? You guys got things to I run a business, man. Thank Come you. I, I, where am I? Oh my god, I'm all the way out here. Uh, <laughs> BB, I, I give this, I, you, long, I give this, I give the shank to BB. BB has the shank. Thank you. BB, BB is gonna start roughly chewing at the shank. Ooh, bye, and sort of like gnawing at it, pulling at the bony bits, trying to get the good, good, tasty marrow out of them. You're welcome. The, hold on, say thank I'll you. Off that, I'll off that. one second. Nor can she. The creature does not have a concept of thanking or welcoming. I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you how. You can teach it next week. I'm gonna, well I have, I get to teach it something this week. You already taught it something this week. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you, you did say that. What'd you teach it this week? Come. Oh. Oh god, why would you teach us something like that? That's disgusting. <laughs> what are we doing? Um, we gotta go advertise our, uh, rager. Aurel, can we get some custom icons for our employees because we like to romance some of them? Sure, you will. What do you mean you will? In ten years. What do you mean ten years? How many employees do you guys have? We have six, right? <laughs> you have way more than six. You have two bartenders. Oh. Two cooks. A chef, that's six. A manager, that's seven. And four waiters. Yeah, sounds about right. Eleven, sir. Eleven people. So let me just. Oh my god. Now, which one's which? Now, which one's the hot ones? It's a damn good question. Uh, can you give I'm them not names? naming them right now. Oh. I, I can, but it will take me a very long. You want me to sit here and name. Okay, you know what? No, I can do it. Why don't we? Yeah, don't. let's just please let's don't. chill. Let's please just don't. chill. Please don't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and. Please don't. I'm just distributing them. Relax. Oh, okay, okay. Do we need to get the alcohol from the alcohol man? Um, we I get think that just sort of happens mysteriously. I um, thought, no, I based thought based on the system, I we have to go pick it up. I mean, yeah, technically, but so do we just assume that every morning we go pick it up? Yeah. Wow, that really is just the easier option. Like, what do you lose an hour of daytime? Okay, we gotta go advertise our party. Okay. Well, I can bring BB around town, and we can. Nope. Uh. -uh. Okay. Hmm. Where are the walls in this place? It's a... Can we just play with no walls? I like the walls. They like I literally can't see anything in this place. Oh, because I didn't fix the the non invisible walls. Yeah, and I can like see out of like some of the walls. I think that's meant to be windows, but I'm not sure. They're not very good windows if they are windows. Okay, you know what, Sean? Yeah. You ever thought about going to go fuck yourself? I mean, I've been trying, but it's just like you know, not that. Flexible. My dick's just not that long, man. <laughs> yeah, come on, don't, Mr. King Kong over here, King Dong yeah, or like. Oops, I dropped my monster condom that I use for my magnum dong. Mongus dongus. I'll get walls. Mongus. 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 Okay, mongus. so. Advertising plan. Mm -hmm. We have to make a bunch of posters. Yeah, well... I okay. feel like that's just going to take longer than just, like, advertising by word Let's do this. Why don't we each take on one of the three air areas of town to advertise? Okay, dibs on not the poor place. Okay, dibs on the rich place. Slip. 
Well, Sorry, no, just... let's not advertise there. They don't have any fucking money to spend. Wait, is my mom's at asking uh -oh. for some shit one sec. Go to the rich people. We can get some poor people. Uh, well, yeah, it depends. We want to be an upper class establishment or a middle class establishment. Look at where they're living. Frankly, I don't think they have the money. So you think farmlands are the only ones that have money for this? I mean, we'll talk to the farmers. We'll talk to the people here. We'll talk to the people in the main part. Oh my god. I, I guess we can talk to the people in the poor part, but I'm not going to be the one to do it. Sean, do you like your vision better now? Uh, let me zoom out. I oh, love it's not lovely. it. It's lovely. Uh, not it. Not it for what? Schlip, we already decided it was you. <laughs> not it. Alright, fine. I'll do it. Okay, so I'm going to go to the rich people. Paleus, do you want to advertise here and at the farm area? Well, the, the rich people place isn't that big, so I feel like Slip should do the poor people place because that'll be brief. Mm -hmm. um, and then the farms because that one's also sort of small. Um, or no, not the farms. Um, he'll do and then he'll do the main place. Oh yeah, uh, that is like just the, the whole center. town. Yeah. Wait, and then Val, wait. you'll do the rich place and the farms, and I'll do down wait, here. What are we doing here again? Like, what are we? Is okay, we're having opening. Does it throw in a grand opening party tomorrow night? Wait, let me write this okay, down. Okay, but so what are we doing? During this grand opening. Okay, here, here it is. Like, what are drinks, we doing? discount drinks. So we're gonna sell our, our drinks at cost. Okay, we're making no profit on that. So we're gonna sell them super cheap. And we'll make a special where if you buy food, you can come back. No, I don't Ref want to refills. Do we um, get... No, we're already selling the beer to them at cost. So okay. Um. If they buy food, they get. Let's let's talk to our chef. Maybe if they buy food, they get a free appetizer. I look at the chef, uh, and remember her name after a brief Which interview. Chef, you want the head chef? Or I'm thinking. Eloise. Um, yeah, the head chef. Um, Sandra Bullock. Um, no, Ukund. And I say, yep. hey, can you make a good ad, good appetizer, so that when people order food, they get that like something for free. Hmm. How cheap do you want it? Like, enough that people s say like, "Oh, this tastes good," but not enough that it like puts something me out of like sweet, like a small little sweet thing, you know? How good do you want it? I mean, like, it should be tasty. It shouldn't. It should different things to different people. What is this? If I were, if I were to rate it on a scale of, um, taste is like nothing to, I would die to eat this a second time. I wanted a boat like a four. Pretty well then. <laughs> I'll get on it. So it's like good. Only want this ready for. But only sorta. Well, for our grand opening tomorrow. Okay, it's a bit of a rush, but I'll try to get it done for you. Thank you. And so right That's now, they're all, right now they're all, right now they're all walking around. You're paying them for today as well, but uh, I'll I will let you know what the wage for today is at a later date. Mm -hmm. um, you're paying them for today as well, but today they're just setting everything up. So, all right. Uh, you can either you can either go and because uh, you have negotiated for your actually what what do you guys know that you've negotiated for supply wise that you need to open? Okay, well we have we have beer from like the last three days that we just haven't used. Yes. And we're gonna in, intending to use most of that on the grand opening. Yes. Um. And then it was the deal that the chef would just source her own food and you guys would pay her well like like she's in she's in charge of like suppliers and okay shit. so she will so she, she she's also going to spend today later on going around and getting the best suppliers she can manage um on her own that's her exactly. so is there, any, is there any are there any other supplies you guys think you might need to get hmm uh, do we have like plates and shit? Uh, you have the old ones, yes. They are yes. a bit dated. They're like they've got like these uh, sort of like scratched out old designs. A few, a few of them are stained, but not too many. They're like well worn in. Do like we that. have Do we have cups? Yes, you have like mugs for beer. As long as we have enough mugs, they won't notice that the plates are bad. shitty. Ugh. And we'll upgrade later. So, like, what do we need to do during the grand opening? Um, hang out and get bitches. 
Are we like the I'm you, We need music or something? Like, oh cool. yeah, we need entertainment. I can. I, I was asking. I, I can like, do a number. What do we do? No. Why not? No. No. He's been no. <sighs> no. I didn't go to freaking half god drama school for this. I was gonna do one of uh, Macbethian's things, you know. I was thinking more along the lines of like a bard. Oh. Yeah. I've been known to play the guitar. That's that's wonderful. I don't want to hear it. All right. Uh, well, I want to hear it. Go for it. Go for it. All right. Play the guitar. Well, Your performance check. I don't <laughs> have a guitar right now. Oh. Oh. So yeah. Then how are you gonna perform for us, Al? I'll go get a guitar. Too much time. Okay. We'd rather just get bard. A bard too late. You're know. fired. Where are you gonna find a bard? None of the bards came to like audition. I'm sure it can't be that hard. Maybe yeah. there's oh maybe we'll find someone in the poor town who's really good at music and playing for money and then we'll be like we'll offer you like a job and they'll work for like dirt cheap because they're poor. Yeah, that could also work. <laughs> All right, I'm going to the poor people. Okay, okay, when we go out to advertise, if you see anyone any good musicians, music, yeah. Hit them up. Are we following Sean here? Um I think we're all going We're all out splitting at the same time. Okay, who am I following first? You can follow. Whoever you want. Yeah, come, come with me. Let's go with Sean, why not? Who so, are you going, Sean? You want to... I guess I'm going to the rich people and any and the shopping area? Is that what I'm doing? Uh, you're doing you're doing rich people and farms. Rich people and farms, take me away. Maybe we'll find some, like, good country music. Mm -hmm. You notice as you make your way through the center of town that uh, the guard houses, which were formerly quite busy, are now a bit less staffed and less secure, clearly because they don't really care about people going to and fro, considering the, the big... Oh, also, moment. hit up the guards. They like to drink. I bet. All right. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, do you want to... Okay, hold on. Let me, let me actually take you to the core, then. Oh? Hello, good sirs. One of the guards looks at, looks at you, he's like... Can I... I'm on my there? horse, by the way. I'm on horseback. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay to be on horseback. I'm, I'm on horseback. You your horse. Hello, good sirs. Hello, citizen. May I interest you in some knowledge? Man, how does this guy have a charisma score above zero? <laughs> the, the guard just <laughs> stares at you. Ah, then you must not have heard of the brand new tavern that's been opening up. Oh, the Howling Owl? My yeah, friend worked there. that's amazing. Did you hear that they're opening tomorrow? Yeah, my friend works there. There's gonna be a grand opening <laughs> there tomorrow. My Who's your friend, my friend works there. <laughs> Did you know there will be a discount on drinks? Oh my god. Look, I don't. Do you? Are you like? Are they paying you? Because you're probably your time is probably better spent talk, telling someone else. <laughs> But but you know, but you do know to come tomorrow, right? Oh, I'm familiar, yeah. All right, well, I just wanted... Hey, man, thanks. I just wanted to, like, you know, get the word out there. It's good to know that we oh, have, like, some guaranteed comers, you know? Oh, I'm not going. Oh, that stinks. Nah, I'm just messing with Oh, my going. God, this guy, so this guy. Fun. I got you good, though, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you got me. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I'll see you later, bud. I'll see you later. So see ya. Later, later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue. Are you guys like casually friends now? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm friends with the guard now. <laughs> oh uh, I'm gonna start walking up to the. Uh, do I see any like guards on the way? Do I see some guards over here? Uh, hold on. Oh, uh, sorry. Where on the way? On like the on through this next guard house? Yeah. Where's the next guard house? The one you're standing in? Yeah. Are there any yeah. guards here? There are guards there. Yes, it's a guard house. Hey guys. So they sort of ignore you. They're all, they're all going around and they're cleaning and setting stuff up right now. Like polishing the weapons and whatnot. Can I interest you in some information? A gruff, older looking gentleman walks over to you. with He's got like, holding like a pole arm. Like sort of thunks on the ground. Stands next to you. What is it, son? You witnessed a crime? Yeah. The one that's happening right in front of me. 
all of you p poor, poor working soldiers keeping us all safe. You deserve a drink. You look so tired. Roll performance. Okay, well, you're gonna have to give me a second. <laughs> Man, I really hope he just went for the criminally low prices tomorrow at the grand opening of the Howling Owl. <laughs> uh, you want a charisma? Yeah. Well, do I have news for you? It's going about as well as that. <clears throat> so, no, not charisma, performance. Do you have a performance model? Oh, performance? Now? Thank God. Yes, I do. Damn. Should have taken the first roll. <laughs> okay, so... I like how we rolled the same thing twice, <laughs> expecting, like, something different to happen. <laughs> we'll just take the first roll for you, Sean. Thank you, thank the you. Guard look, the guard looks unimpressed. The Howling yeah, Owl. Uh, huh? I'm sorry? Look, look son, yeah. I don't want you to be wasting our time, okay? Unless you've got information about crimes or guard-related information, you know, you best skedaddle. But the drinks are going to be very discounted, and you're going to get free food with every time you buy anything to eat. Like, it's going to be ridiculous. How much do the drinks cost? He How says, much... now suddenly paying quite a bit of attention to you. How much do the drinks cost? I don't know. You tell me. No one's around to help you. Brain? Hello. God? You want to try to roll something for it? You want to try to roll a wisdom check to see if you can logically think God. of what... <laughs> Wisdom never... check, if, if you remember what Paleis told you would be a good price. <laughs> For wisdom? Mm -hmm. Didn't he say it was like 35% off or something? Or 70% off? <laughs> He's being quiet. He's not reacting. Um, sure, roll wisdom. Roll wisdom? Alright. Well, fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can remember a few words that Paley has told you. Right? Paley, what are you telling me? In, in five words or less, what are you tell him? We are selling beer for. <laughs> oh that's all you can remember. <laughs> um, well, we're selling beer for. For the guards, yes. He's for the beer. guards, of course, for the guards. At 75% off regular price. Now, son, that's a very, very serious thing to be saying. Okay, 75% off the regular accepted price of beer in this town. It's quite cheap. Okay, we're all in. Looking forward to tasting it. When's this grand opening again? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Uh, and let me tell you, and he lays a hand on your shoulder, if you're lying to us about cheap drinks, it's over for you in this town. That's a very interesting uh, thing for the authorities to be saying and then, to and, then, and, then he, and then he claps your back really, really hard and starts <laughs> laughing. Oh, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, son. But seriously. Don't serve us cheap drinks, or we won't protect your, ta your tavern. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go on now, get... And he goes back to doing his work. So what? how much was it supposed to be? We're selling at cost. So what did I say? 75% uh, <laughs> off. So what's the difference? No one knows. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we don't have a cost <laughs> per barrel, and uh -huh. we don't have an, an amount of drinks... <laughs> Oh, we do. You do have a barrel. Cost per barrel. Oh, okay. We have a cost per barrel, but we don't have an amount of drinks per barrel or an established profit margin, so we have no clue. <laughs> Wait, so we can just say it's seventy-five percent off? One of you, one of you can sit down and do the research and figure it out. We can just say that it's seventy-five percent off without it actually. In being game. That's so good. Sean, I'm not going to figure it out, but um, seventy-five percent off is probably not accurate. That's fine. All right, let me go to I the rich people. You had them with a lighter discount, you decided to go for 75% for no reason anyway. So there's kinds of moments that make me enjoy D&D. &D. <laughs> Alright. Um, so now that I'm here, uh, let's start with Lord Damien. I feel like he'd love the news. You know, him being five Lord Damien's old. five. Yeah, but, okay, let me go talk to the hot elf dude. Okay, so as you, you approach... like, 900-year-old? As you approach, you yeah. are halted around here. Gilf. Um... Gilf? Yeah. <laughs> That's not his name. It's when it's a dude, it's Gadilf. Grandpa is exactly <laughs> to fuck. 
Did I not send you guys the, the full maps of both housing districts? What do you mean? This what is it, mean? no? No, I mean like the with text versions, because I sent them to Dan. No. I Dan, can you send it. them in the in the oh, I... I don't even I, I didn't even send them to them. either. Hold on. Sorry guys. I'm gonna get you guys these these maps. So you can have them with text. Should I sit in the middle of the ring and start singing and see if people wanna come and give me a look? No. I feel like I could get a lot of people together. <clears throat> okay. What are you singing and how? Uh, I'm singing She's a Golly Good Fellow. You mean she's a jolly good fellow? I don't know. Let him finish. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's a golly good fellow um, in A minor. That's not the key that song is in. <laughs> roll, 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 roll performance at disadvantage. Why disadvantage? Because you don't know the name of the song, you don't know what key to sing it in. <laughs> That sounds, like, that sounds like a personal problem. It's, it is. It's your personal problem. Wow. The rolls are just not with me today. All right. Okay. So you begin singing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, a few of the people who might have been interested before, as I saw you sitting down praying to sing, have turned mm -hmm. away and returned to their lordly duties. Damn. All right. How do I fix this? <laughs> I, can I try to sing with? You are not. No, here. you're you're advertising All to right. poor people. Right. Hmm. All right. Well, fuck. This really puts a dampener in my plans, huh? What do I see around me right now? So, uh, you're sat in the center of this little icy area. There's no one directly next to you, but people generally mill about between the houses of the lords, though they don't tend to go between. Like from one section to another, they're just in their own sections. I'm gonna do a figure skating show. Okay. On horseback. Okay. So what what does that entail? Well, let me look at my abilities because I remember being able to do this. Um. <laughs> so, I put so I get on top. I have Tiffany. I put Tiffany on the ice. Yeah. Uh, I push Tiffany forward, climb on top, and then I'm holding like a, a high Y. A high Y? Yeah, like I'm like I'm holding my arms in a Y, standing on Tiffany's back. Um, and then I jump and do a turn as Tiffany is also turning on the ice. Um, and I sort of do like a triple sow cow in the air, and then I land on. I'm gonna fucking fifth. Okay, yeah. Roll. Wait, do you have any history doing these kinds of tricks? Yeah, I come from the Iceland. I'm a figure skater by trade. Are you? Is that in your character's backstory? Yeah. Okay, show it to me on your character sheet. Okay. <laughs> this man really just said. That just give time. me a second to write it down, and I'll show you. <laughs> uh, here you go. How do I do this for you? There you go. Okay, excellent. Now clip your screen and show me you opening the. the <laughs> thing, not ending. I can't do that. It's on my second monitor. Prepare six spells, skater. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Performance at disadvantage? <laughs> Roll performance at disadvantage? Yes, please. Oh my god. They, people don't want to see me shine. I don't know what to tell What did you expect? I'm a figure skater. I expect an advantage at least. You're not a figure skater. You can't just make up new things. What do you mean? I am. With the situation. Oh. If it was an actual party of backstory, I definitely would have given it to you. It's okay. None of the rolls would have mattered anyway. Are they both ones? No, they're Seven both six. 69. So you push Tiffany onto the ice. Mm -hmm. And then as you step forward, you gently step onto her back and pull your fingers out, your hands up into a Y. Tiffany begins to slip and fall. Determined to not let this mess up. I have... You stand. Yes? I have Born to Saddle, which means if I fall off my mount, I can make a save. Okay. Let me, let me finish, though. Okay. You stand and successfully jump... Up into the air, doing a triple sow cow. Mm -hmm. In your mind. What actually happens, oh you jump God. into the air, you, you do... Sow cow? It's just a triple a, spin in the it's air. Three, it's three and a half spins. And why is it called a sow cow? Because you look like Ask a cow people who invented it. figure skating. <laughs> just call it a triple. Huh? It's in, not a triple. In dance, it's called a triple tour. A sow cow is... Uh, 
Sal cow is 180 or a hold on. A sow cow. Well, if it's a 180, it's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a jump. It's a takeoff from the back inside edge of one foot, landing on the back outside edge of the opposite foot. That sounds stupid. <laughs> sounds sounds like a made up sport, to be honest. <laughs> Imagine skating. The base value of a quadruple sal cow is 9.7. Alright, Aurel. I'd like to make my save. What save? You jumped off. You didn't fall off. I'm falling right now. Off. No, you jumped off and you managed to land on the ground safely. <laughs> after doing half the spin. Okay. Off your horse. I gotta get your ready for Your horse then the... collapsed onto the ice from the impact of being jumped off of. Alright. I need to get ready for my grand finale. Okay, what's your grand finale? <laughs> I start doing loops around the uh, the perimeter of the circle. Keep in mind, like, you're like, not like, skates. So yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say you, so, so you begin to run in loops around the circle. Uh -huh. You know, like in laps. Yeah, um, you begin to run around, around the dice. And then uh, I, I want you to roll, roll athletics for not okay. falling over. Slash R1D20. Plus, huh? Can I just lie? Oh, Ooh. well, I am you a figure skater. You expertly maneuver using the ice to run faster than you normally would be able to in laps. I'm gonna so open up a twister. Uh, how fast am I going? Slightly faster than you normally run. So, what's, what's your regular sprint speed? 60 feet? So you're going 75 feet mm -hmm. per turn. Do I look cool while I'm doing it? You look like you're running real fast. Hmm. Do you normally see quick runners as very cool? Ooh, I'd like to use uh, smite on my oh hands no. while I'm skating and put them above my head so that I'm making like a lightning streak. You need smite on your hands. Mm -hmm. Smite. Kill me. Mm -hmm. It's gonna kill me. I which smite? Can... Wait, which, which smite? Uh. The classic video game by Hyrule Studios. No, which smite? <laughs> Searing smite. Searing smite. Is that prepped? Yep. Just check. Okay. So, um, are you? Which creature are you hitting with a melee weapon attack? Me. Okay, you're gonna punch your hand. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, roll to hit. All right. It's a con saving throw. No, it's just a roll to hit mm. against your AC. It is. No, nah, I'm kidding. Ro roll to hit them, like you would with with uh, barehanded. So I think it's just. What's barehanded, Will? Nope. Sorry. I fuck. It's the wrong one. I one plus damage. strength mod if you hit. No. What's what's the DC or the 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 D20 roll for barehanded? Uh, one plus strength mod. No, not the damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, just strength mod. Um, and three? If you're... Oh, d20 plus three. Plus three, yeah. And then or maybe... plus three strength bonus, sorry. If you're proficient, then proficiency, but I don't Are you proficient think... in armed fighting, Sean? I don't think so. Okay, so just roll 1d20 plus three. You successfully punch your own hand. Mm -hmm. Um. So you're, you're... which fist are you punching with? I'm punching my left hand with my right fist. Okay, so as you, as you run around this this rink, mm -hmm. um, you you curl up one fist, and that fist begins flaring with white hot intensity. So your right hand glows with flame, mm -hmm. and you punch your other hand, dealing. Four fire damage. All right. And your left hand is now ignited in flames. I raise now my left okay. hand up. You must now. You must now make a Constitution saving throw. All right, I can do that. Y'all just aren't playing the game like I am, clearly. All right, um, I got. I, I gotta go soon. So mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> you passed the saving throw. Uh, uh, your your left hand is now no longer on fire. All right, and I bow. No one claps. Hold on, hold on. Okay. 16 people clap. Thank you all for clapping. I've come to make an announcement. 
they um, look at you. Uh, four of them walk away. You now have 12 people watching. Have you guys... <laughs> Are you guys tired of not having like a really cool place to drink and like Two enjoy? Two people walk away. Well, I'm introducing the Howling Owl. We're doing discount drinks for opening night tomorrow night. It's seventy five percent off, off drinks, and every time you buy food, you get a free appetizer. The six people watching now. One of them yells out, "Do the fire thing again!" Well, I've done all I could do. I go back to the tavern. Hey, do the fire thing. I'm I'm tired, kid. Come on, go home. Oh. He walks back. All right. Okay. Got it. That, that's Sean's. Oh, oh, Dan, you gotta go soon. I gotta go soon. So let's, let's, make let's it rip it. Let's rip it to your perspective. Where were you going? Four people. Let's go. Four oh. people and middle. Yeah, that's a poor people's place. Um, I walk around looking for any, literally anybody, just anybody. As I, I actually, except for kids, probably not, probably not kids. So most people, most people inside the house, there's a few kids running around, like right near this this entrance area where you are right now. Uh, most people are either in their houses, or. Uh, or not in their houses. Which way are you going? Just walk walk along the map and I will. Most people are in their houses or not in their houses. <laughs> yeah, they, they're in the houses or they're not home. <laughs> like not they're not home. working outside. Okay, so as you head up through this way, you spot two, uh, two humans walking around and they're carrying some firewood. Um... Hey, are you guys busy tomorrow night? One of them looks up at you and he goes, We're not interested in your snake oil. They keep walking. What the? What, wait, what, what snake oil? What are you talking about? We've seen your kind here before. Selling us, Oh, cure this. You won't be, you won't be poor anymore. Oh, if you take this drink, we'll buy you expensive furniture. Yeah, right. Get out of here. I have no clue what you're talking about, but I'll tell you this. I am part of the Howling Owl in the... Um, is there a district, district name for there it? There is. Do you want to roll wisdom save to remember it? Yes. Okay, roll wisdom. I forgot what it's fucking called. Why, well, I'm the only one here who ever writes down anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes it exciting. The other ticket does have horrible memory. Okay. You remember it's a something square. The something square. I, the south part of the yeah. Anyways, tomorrow we're gonna have be we're gonna have you know 70 70 percent off drinks. Why does everyone keep saying seventy percent off drinks? Yeah, I'm gonna say. I told them. Doesn't matter. All right. Okay. Just drinks are gonna be cheap. Just come. Uh, we're gonna, you're gonna have a great time. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's gonna be a lot of people there. I promise. Seventy percent off, huh? Ninety percent. Yeah. Okay then. You can't tell poor people seventy percent off because then they'll see the amount and then calculate the full amount and then be like, "Man, we can't afford to go here ever again." Um. Also, they probably can't do that because they're poor as shit and probably don't know math. But so anyway, they walk away. Sucks. Are you looking for people? Or are you going? I mean, I mean, I, yeah, more poor people, I guess. Okay, which are you going? Until until I have to fucking go to the call. Um, Don't spend too much time only, here. I can only go straight here, no? Yep. Yeah, so I go straight. We'll move your character. <gasps> Is that far enough? Or can mm -hmm. I go deeper in? No, that's good. Uh, you spot four people. It looks like a gang of teens. Uh, and they're just, they're just like walking around, uh, and they look like they're sort of like peering into the woods. One of them's got a bow, another one's got a, uh, a, like, small club. And they're, they're all, they're like a mix of different races. A few of them are short. One of them is exceptionally tall, but he looks still pretty young, baby-faced, if you will. And they notice you, and they go, hey, this is our hunting ground. Get the hell out of here. 
All right, all right. Well, they're, they're... How old are you guys? Hey, what's a two-year-old, man? Eh, I'm just trying to advertise, you know, for for a tavern I'm I'm uh, organizing. A tavern? We'll be there. Do you know where? Hmm. You think a new tavern can open without us knowing? Don't you know who we are? Uh, no, surprisingly. We're the deadly four. We'll be at your bar. Don't that worry about so it. so deadly. And he walks away. <laughs> okay. They don't, they, they don't think right. you're cool enough to, to answer your questions. Right, right. Fair, fair enough. Uh, I shrug it off and walk away as well. Okay, um, you're going to down this path or go down the other one? Can I go through, can I go through the thing? Just go here. You can All attempt right. to cut through there. It will take a dexterity check. I will do that. Fuck it. Shit. Oh, I mean, no, that's not bad. No. So you, you sort of stumble through and you thwack a few bushes. And right before you get to the end, of, like a bush just thwacks in the knee a little hard. Does one physical damage. But other than that, you got through just fine. Uh, do I see anybody? Uh, Is this a, that looks like a clock tower to me. You don't see anybody in your immediate vicinity. You have to move somewhere else to find people, more people. Okay, so you head way. down towards what appears to be a cemetery. And uh, it's deserted except for one woman who is sat at a grave holding a bottle of what appears to be beer. That's uh. fucking depressing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna approach you. Uh, Why not? She's drinking. Uh, you guys, you guys are selling drinks. I'm, What's the problem? I, as as Schlip, I I think I'm gonna leave her alone. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna walk away. That's sad. Um, anybody else? Like, uh, not in this area. You can try to trace your tracks back along this path. Sure, I'll go like that. Okay. Uh, so as you get to around this area, uh, you you see someone in the distance, like towards where Kalis is right now. You see like someone someone walking through. Okay. Can can I get it? Yeah, you, you can run up to him. He's a character. Oh yeah, I just I okay. Yeah. So as you run up to him, as you get closer, you recognize. Oh, it's the, it's the Deadly Four. They're like, hey, what are you still still out here advertising your stuff? Yeah, I'm trying to look for more people. Okay, well, uh, be a bit quieter, right? We can hear you coming from a mile away. That means so could the animals. All right, my bad. I'll uh, not go through the forest again, if that's what you mean. Thanks, buddy. Hey, you know what? For a turtle guy, you're not half bad. I like just stare at him. Hold on. Um, in a very awkward... Roll a d20 for a staring contest. <sighs> After 45 solid seconds of staring, <laughs> the the head team with his with his big club blinks and he goes, "Ah, damn it! The old turtle got one over on me." We'll get you next time. Don't forget, deadly four never lose staring contests. And they walk away back the way they came. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do the, like, the, like, my, like, two fingers towards my eyes and then two fingers towards them, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. As he turns away, he does the one finger up towards you, the middle one. Okay, alright, that's just rude. Uh, can we, can we make this quick? I think it's about to start, by the way, so, yep. um, can I, can I, like, You're about more, done here. more, more persuasion or some shit? Yeah, sure, so just give me one general persuasion roll for this entire center of town area. Um, I guess I would just quickly go through door to door about the tavern. Mm -hmm. If if no one uh, isn't too interested or like they don't want to struck a conversation, I'll just leave them alone. Hit it for persuasion. Yep. Whew. Okay. So even though there aren't many people that really like live in the center part of town, most of them live on one of the other two sides. Um, those that like a lot of people here, especially like the guards and 
the businessmen and women who are here during the midday, which is when it is right now, uh, a lot of them seem very interested in what you have to say. Um, and a few even promised to, to make it down. I, I head back, tell uh, Peleus and uh, Val the great news. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, no. The good news? Well, we're with you. Alright. I'm gonna go around everywhere in the Peddler Square. Um, and talk to all the shop owners we've talked to you so far. Anyone else I see. And I'm gonna keep my eye out for anyone playing music. Like, busking on the street. And I'm gonna say to basically like all the shop owners that I've talked to already. Um, I'm gonna ask them if they uh, know anyone who might be interested in performing. Okay, so you're looking for people to perform? Yes, well, simultaneously advertising. Okay, roll a persuasion for looking for performer first. Mm hmm. What is my persuasion skill? I feel like it's plus something. Aha, indeed, it is plus something. Okay. So you find quite a few willing performers. The ones that stick out to you are, uh, oh? Are any of them hot girls? Uh, one of them is, yeah. That one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so one of, the, one of them is Ardvar, like Ardvark without the K. Okay. Uh, he's a dwarf who plays the banjo. Okay. He's asking for a single gold piece for a day's work. But he's he's a traveling musician who's in town, specifically to perform music. You just you just caught him walking around, playing okay. some songs. I don't know if banjo is the vibe, uh, but keep you in mind. You've also got uh, Fei Lin. She is an elf who likes to play the drums. She carries nice. around like she carries around like three drums, one big one, uh, and it's attached to a medium one on its right and a small one on its left, and she carries them around. There's like a rope that's tied around the around the drums which are tied to one another and the rope is tied around her neck huh. uh and she carries around hmm? well yeah you said huh no i didn't oh my bad yeah you're crazy don't this <laughs> like i'm not gaslighting so, you you're being crazy yeah i guess like you a thing what are you talking about so uh she she wants five silver for performance. Okay. Uh, and then uh, you managed to convince Shady to uh, sing a little ditty. Uh, and all he wants for performance is also five silver. Okay. You said there were four? No, there are three. Well, that ain't too much. Can I hire each of them for a partial show? Sure. Yeah. As in, like, one will go. So you can hire you can hire them each you can hire them each for a third of the show, but it'll cost you half price instead of one third price. That's fine. Okay. So that's what is that? One gold. Uh, so it's five silver because you're paying them both half. It's and it's then literally, five. Gold. Oh yeah, it's just one gold. It's literally one gold. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you got your performers. I'm sure. I hope you've written them down because I haven't. I have. Perfect. Thank you. Like I'm gonna come back with the shit. I'm not gonna writing it, I'm remembering it. Uh, yeah, and then just. And then roll, roll, roll advertising. A, yeah. So roll a performance for convincing advertising. Excellent. So uh, as you run around town telling people about your incredible new tavern give me give me give me the spiel like you just you just opened my door i'm a uh i'm a very quiet reserved looking all human female with long brown hair and eyes that pierce her soul hit me with your spiel whoa you're exactly my type um no anyway um uh, well, I'll start I, at the how do I feel assaulted in my head? I don't like. <laughs> uh, down at the Howling Owl, we're finally opening up tomorrow. We're throw, throwing a big party. 
or getting a huge discount on drinks. Got a free appetizer if you order any entree. It's going to be sick. We got live music. Um, come down. It'll be a great time. Okay. What's the Halloween Owl? Oh, it's a new tavern we're starting up. It's uh, across oh, okay. the road from the Hissing Snake. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll come and I'll, I'll bring my boyfriend. Sounds great. Nice. See you there. Bye. She shuts the door in your face. Get wrecked, nerd. Okay, so now everyone's done there. She wasn't even that hot anyway. Nerd, says Val. So that's that. You guys all reconvene, and it's, it's getting dark now. Mm, so you guys all reconvene, and uh, you can, you're welcome to share with one another what happened. My plan is finally coming together. <laughs> what happened? Okay, so I know a lot of guards are coming, but I told them that all the drinks were 75% off. Why would you do that? Because I didn't. I don't know what drinks cost. Sean, you want it to be dark? There you go. Well, Thank they you. don't know what they cost either. Um, so, so in a way, I've made it work. It, no, you've made it worse because we're not selling them at seventy-five percent off. And if they calculate how much their drinks are actually going to be, based on your uh, saying it's seventy-five percent off, they're gonna be like, "Oh man, this place is too expensive for me to come drink regularly." So, we're going to make a big sign to put behind the bar that says how much drinks are actually off so that we don't get fucked. But they're going to kill us. No, they're going to kill you. No, I have a big bear. I can literally pick people up and move them with my mind. Yeah, but I have the equivalent of a T-Rex in our back pocket. That I can send to another dimension with a snap. Hey! We're on the same side here. All I'm saying is if they come for you, I'm not going down too. Oh my god, he's a little bee, huh? He's just a little bitch. I don't think many of the rich people are coming. Did you advertise to the farmers? No, I didn't get around to it. Okay, we better go do that tomorrow then. Morning? I mean, before we open. Okay. Why didn't you advertise to the farmer's home? I was too embarrassed by what had happened in the rich people thing to continue advertising anymore. You know what? That's fair. Uh, I'm going to give you an inspiration for that one, Sean. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, anything else you, you boys want to do tonight? Yeah, I just want to go to sleep. Okay. I, I want to go and pet. I want to see Bibi before I go to sleep. Uh, give her a kiss and then go back up. Oakley dokley. Uh, let me just get some stuff down here. Can we take a five to ten minute break while I go to the bathroom, prepare for the rest of the session, and so on? Mm -hmm. Yosh. Perfect. Goodbye. <laughs>